Hi everyone, I am Shivam Jhavar. I am a master teacher at Vedantu. We are discussing JA Advanced 2019 Paper 1 Mathematics. And the question for this video is this. The area of the region having all the points x, y such that x, y is less than or equal to 8 and y is greater than or equal to 1 less than or equal to x square is. There are four options. There is a single correct type question. Let's solve it. So here let's first draw these curves. Whenever there is inequality, we first draw the curves taking equalities and then we judge the inequality region accordingly. So here, first of all, uh, you know, y equal to x square. So you may say it will be something like this. Now, uh, what about y equal to, uh, y, what about x y equal to 8? It will be something like this. And there will be one loop in the third quadrant as well. Now where do they intersect? So here uh, to find where they intersect x y equal to 8, x square equal to y. So you, re you may replace y as x square. So x y equal to 8, you may replace y as x square and it becomes x cube equal to 8. So basically x becomes 2. And if x is 2, what about y? y is 4 because y is x square or you must x y equal to 8. So y is 4. So now we will also consider y greater than or equal to 1. That means we will draw y equal to 1. So it will be a straight line like this. So here this is y equal to 1. So where does this intersect y equal to x square? You will put y to be 1 and here x is clearly positive 1. And here when y is 1 x becomes 8 uh, when we talk about intersection point with x y equal to 8. Yeah. So the region that we want is essentially this. How? Because this is above y equal to 1. So y is greater than or equal to 1. Here x square is greater than or equal to y and also x y is less than or equal to 8. Basically this question has ambiguity. This question should have been phrased better because if you see carefully even this region satisfies all the condition involved. Here also x square is greater than or equal to y, y is greater than or equal to 1 and x y is less than or equal to 8. So the question should have included something like area in the first quadrant or x y is greater than 0 and not just less than or equal to 8 or simply as area of region bounded by x y equal to 8, y equal to 1, y equal to x square. Then this would have anyway got rejected. Why? Because this is not bounded. This is unbounded as such. Yep. So uh, the question should have been phrased better to avoid ambiguity, to avoid confusion, to uh, make this question apt, appropriate. So now let's coming, uh, let's come back to the question. Now this area you can find using the concept of vertical strips or horizontal strips. Let's use both. If I use vertical strip, I can say that the area would be integral 1 to 2 upper curve which is x square minus lower curve which is 1 dx plus integral 2 to 8 upper curve which is y equal to 8 by x minus lower curve which is 1 dx. So essentially it becomes x cubed by 3 minus x with limits 1 to 2 plus here it becomes 8 ln x minus x with limits you may say 2 to 8. So as you put you get uh, you know uh, 8 minus 1 by 3 minus 2 minus 1 putting the limits plus you get 8 ln 8 minus ln 2 minus 8 minus 2. So essentially if you see carefully it becomes 7 by 3 minus 1 plus ln 8 is 3 ln 2. 
minus ln2 it becomes 2 ln2 so essentially it becomes 16 ln2 minus 6 so this essentially becomes 16 ln2 7 by 3 minus 7 is essentially minus 14 by 3 so my answer becomes 16 ln2 minus 14 by 3 a is correct now let's solve using horizontal strips as well so as we see this curve as we see this reason I can say the right curve is essentially x y equal to 8 or rather x is equal to 8 by y and the left curve is essentially y equal to x square or you may say x is equal to root y why because x is positive so you would not take minus root y you will take root y so it is right curve minus left curve integrated from y equal to 1 to y equal to 4 so basically it becomes 8 by y minus root y integrated 1 to 4 let's do it integral 1 to 4 8 by y minus root y dy so essentially it becomes if you see carefully 8 ln y minus y to the power 3 by 2 divide by 3 by 2 or multiplied by 2 by 3 1 to 2 or oh, 1 to 4 so uh, it essentially becomes 8 ln 4 minus 8 ln 1 ln 1 is 0 minus 2 by 3 4 to the power 3 by 2 which essentially becomes 8 minus 1 to the power 3 by 2 so essentially it becomes 8 ln 4 which you may say is 16 ln 2 minus 2 by 3 times 7 which is 14 by 3 so again a is the answer so you could have gone either by using uh, vertical strips or even using horizontal strips a is the answer thanks for listening stay tuned for the next question